Hi, I'm Nathan Dunfield and I'm going to show you some of the new features that Mark Kohler and I have added in SNAP P2.0. Uh, the first one is a way to easily get an overview of a manifold that you're interested in. So here I've uh, loaded in a manifold, the exterior of the knot 820 in the Rolfson table. And now I can use the new method browse to open this window which has a lot of information such as the volume, fundamental group, the homology, all available just uh, at a quick glance. There are different tabs if you want to look at the Dirichlet domain or take a view from the Cus neighborhood. Uh, symmetries, we'll be adding more detail to that later. In this case we have a knot so we also get a link projection of that knot visible here in the browser. Now you can also use the browser to modify, uh, to create new manifolds from this one. For instance, we could drill out a geodesic. Maybe I decide to drill out the third shortest geodesic here. And that out opens a new browser window. Uh, at any time, if I want to save a manifold that I'm looking at in the browser menu, you can do that just from the file menu. We can also do Dane filling on one of the manifolds in a browser window. So this is the second cus, that's the one that was created by drilling. So if I do meridian filling of this cusp, I get back the original manifold. Going back to the original manifold, I'll let's show you how you can take a cover. Maybe I decide I want to look at covers of degree 3. I want to look at all covers, not just cyclic ones turns out there are two of them. Let's look at this irregular one that has two cusps. Uh, one of the buttons here is retriangulate. That does some moves on the triangulation of the manifold. When you do those moves, you notice the fundamental group. Uh, well, fundamental group, of course, doesn't change. We're not changing the topology, but the presentation you get does. and That's sometimes a useful, useful thing to do. Alright, going back to the original manifold here. Uh, one thing that we added to the various censuses and tables of manifolds in SNAPI is the ability to quickly look up whether the manifold that you have is in one of our tables. And in the browser, this, you get that just by clicking the Identify button. This particular manifold appears in our tables four different times uh, as a manifold triangulated with few tetrahedra, as a knot in the Rolfson table, um, as a knot which can be triangulated with few tetrahedra, whose exterior can be triangulated, uh, and then finally as the first non-alternating knot with eight crossings in the Haas Thistlethwaite uh, link table. So that's the numbering scheme used by, for instance, knot atlas or knot info or knot scape. So going back to the command shell here, let me show you some of the new features of the link editor. One of those new features is that if you create, bring up a link exterior from one of our tables, you can actually access uh, a link projection which is fully editable. So it comes up as this nice rectilinear projection. Uh, and we've also added new view modes to the link editor. So if you don't like this uh, PL look, you can switch to a smooth smoothed out version of the projection. You can save that as a PostScript file or SVG file, that's what's used by the drawing program Inkscape, uh, Tixie, that's a LaTeX graphics package, or as a PDF. Um, so you can save it, you can open it in your drawing program, edit it uh, or not, and then inc say include it in a paper you're working on. In fact, you can even edit the knot in this smooth mode. Uh, I'll, I'll change some crossings here. Right. So I guess I've changed the topology here quite a bit, so maybe I'll send this back to Snappy. Let's see what I did to it. Probably I unknotted it. Yeah, it seems to be what I did. Okay, another thing that we've added which has always been in the SNAP-P kernel but was not accessible in this program, uh, is cutting the manifold along spheres and, and tori. So this particular knot is actually a whitehead double on the trefoil. 
So it doesn't have a hyperbolic structure, uh, and we can ask it if there's some way to split the manifold. And it says, yes, there's a torus sitting inside this manifold. So I have to tell it, I can ask it to split, I have to tell it which surface I want to split along. In this case, I guess there's only one, the zero surface. I get two pieces. First has two cusps, the second has only one. And we can, this technique of identifying manifolds is also accessible at the command line here. So let's say I want to look this, these uh, manifolds up in the Haas Thistlethwaite table of link exteriors. So the first one is a five crossing link uh, alternating. It's the first one in the table. That's the whitehead link. Uh, and on the other hand, the second piece is the trefoil. So just for fun, let's just bring up a picture of it. And there you can just stare at that. Determine for yourself it really is a whitehead double. So we've also added other features to this. So some other additions to SNAP in this version, you'll find these listed on our web page, um, because we've seen these include um, improvements to the Pultomy module, which is uh, written by Matthias Gurner. In particular, it includes the ability to look for representations in the PGL as opposed to just PSL. Um, also, the census knots, this, these are knots whose exteriors are relatively simple, um, now goes all the way up to a tetrahedra. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you about the latest Snappy. I hope you enjoy using it.